little bit of kind of your first thoughts in your group? Uh, we got a lot of work to do. I mean, you know, I, I obviously the group that left was a, a stellar group, and some of these guys have playing experience a little bit. You know, they've they've got uh, part time playing time I should get I should say right now, but we got a long way to go. You know, we've got to. First and foremost, in order to play fast and to be effective, you got to understand what you have and what you're doing. So we got to do a better job. I got to continue to do a better job of uh, explaining to my guys what we're doing. You know, what we always say around here is, you'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll play fast. And you'll be great when you know what you're doing, but why you're doing it. So um, got a long way to go still, with my group. Not only do you, have to, you obviously want to find guys that are productive, but like you said, so many older guys left. You got to have guys to embrace those leadership roles. Too. Plain and simple, you know, and it, it, it's hard. It's, it, it, guys usually embrace that leadership when they're out making plays, and if you're not making plays, it's kind of hard to step in and say that I'm the guy. But bottom line is, is, is no different. You got to. You got to lead, and you've got to set the tone by example on the football field. You need the guys to step up, start making some plays. We need to we need to play fast and play confident. Right now, the guys are still thinking. You know, obviously, day three we're still installing. We'll install for the next week or so, but uh, they got to play fast. If you're not playing fast, you ain't gonna be very good. And uh, we got to step it up. Through you know three practices, what's it been like so far to be at Mississippi State and, and work with the guys that you have? I'm excited. You know, it's like anything else. I'm I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, I, I kind of. Kind of have a heartbeat on the offense already, as far as what we're doing and and uh, why we're doing it. Obviously, uh, a lot of the terminology has changed, but again, uh, it's football. You know, just got to change the terminology around a little bit. But uh, I got a good group of guys that just need to be pushed uh, right now. I, I, I think that's probably the biggest thing. You know, what their standards are and up to my sta my standards are a little higher than theirs right now, and they need to they need to rise up to my standards. And um, my expectations are a little bit higher than than what's been given to them. And I expect that. So. Uh, I've got some good guys. I've got some guys that I think can make the plays, but we've got to step out there and do it right now. That's not happening because, like I said, they're thinking too much right now. They're thinking about what they have, um, and they're trying to fill themselves out a little bit. They're trying to think, am, am I doing the right thing? Am I not doing the right thing? So it'll come. Do you think the fact that they've gone through a couple of wide receivers coaches before you, if, you know, affects the, them kind of learning what you want to do and impacting the transition? Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. I think, you know, I think the guys out there, uh, they're going to learn and they're going to pick up things as, as quick as the coach teaches it to them. So, um, you know, the biggest thing for them is they've got to learn. I don't mind if there's a if there's going to be some mess ups right now. We're still installing. All I care about is give me great effort. I can coach a guy that might have a mistake every now and then, but it's giving me unbelievable effort. And I think that's probably the part where I need to make sure these guys understand that they're giving effort. They're, don't get me wrong, they're giving effort. But I want they've got more in their gas tank where they can push it. So we're trying to get the the ultimate out of them.